He was a man who threw himself into everything that he did. When, when he got into window dressing, he started a, a national association of window dressing, and he published a journal. Uh, when, when he was in Aberdeen, South Dakota, he started a minor league baseball team. Uh, he just threw himself into everything that he was doing. When he was raising chickens, he helped to start the New York State Poultry Society. He was a secretary of that for a while. The lesson is that he was learned, even though he only had three years of formal schooling, he was learned, he learned all his lifetime, he threw himself into things, he tried many things in his life, and he was highly successful at a few of them. We're not successful at everything that we do, but we have to, in the 21st century, realize that our career is going to involve significant changes throughout. We say, in fact, you probably have five or six careers, in your lifetime, and I tell students coming in uh, each fall that in this generation, the younger generation, if you live a healthy lifestyle, you will average an age of 100. So you're going to be in the workplace for a long, long time. So the whole notion of lifelong learning is very important. There's also an incredible influence of place. He lived in Chicago. Uh, he had a summer home in the west side of Michigan. He was uh, in Hollywood, California for several years. Last year, he like, lived in Aberdeen, but started out in upstate New York, in Chittenango, and then in Syracuse. He had significant influences of his family, his parents, and his siblings, his aunt and uncle, and particularly his wife, Maud, and her mother, Matilda. Matilda was one of the original suffragettes of the 19th century. She was a confidant and a co collaborator with Elizabeth Patty Stanton and Susan B. Anthony, and she wrote the trilogy about women's suffrage in the 19th century. They did not. She doesn't get the credit for it, but she was a very outspoken person, and some people characterize her as the wicked witch of the world. She was so outspoken and caustic in her interactions with folks. Uh, so the, the Wizard of Oz, in the way of Oz, is really about uh, Dorothy and leadership, the lessons of the characters, the strength from within, and you see that, and I'll talk about that later on, about how important it is for all of us to upwell that strength that we have all in our souls and our hearts and our minds. Uh, I went to a Catholic elementary school in New York, St. Patrick's School, and we had Dominican sisters. And the sisters were very wise. They used to say to us uh, growing up that uh, work as though it all depends on you, but pray as it all depends on God. So the idea is however God or whatever your belief system tells you about how you should live, you should work as though everything depends on you and the power comes up from you.